Hey everyone, today we're gonna to look at synchronized intervals in React. And to get us started, we have this little demo app right here. This application renders a background color component. It's a component that shows a background color and it's got a start button. And when we press the start button, the background color is gonna change about once a second. Let's take a look at that component. So we've got a list of background colors, and then we've got some React state to track the current background color, and then a function to change the background color. All this does is it looks at the current background color and then selects the next color in the list. And then some more state down here to track if the button is pressed, uh, we call it is on. And if we're on, we're gonna use an interval to change our background color. Now, the way that you use interval works is that you pass a function and you're gonna call that function every 1500 milliseconds. However, if use interval gets a null, that basically tells it to turn off and the interval won't run. So that's why we use is on. If we're on, we're changing the background every 1500 milliseconds, but if we're off, we just turn off the interval. And then finally down here, we have our JSX and it is gonna display a div with the background color and then a button to toggle that is on flag uh, between true and false. So all in all, this is a pretty simple component that just changes a div's background color. Now, a change we wanna to make today is instead of rendering a single background color component, we're gonna go ahead and render two of these components. And then we're gonna kick one off and it's working as expected. It's changing its background color. And then we're gonna wait a few seconds and start the second background color. And as you can see, these components are both working. They're both changing their background color every 1500 milliseconds. But the thing is here, these changes aren't in sync. Uh, they're each changing every 1500 milliseconds, but they're happening at their own interval. And so, it looks like one changes and then the other changes really quickly. And what we wanna to do today is we wanna make both of these background colors change at the exact same time, regardless of when that start button was pressed. And so if you've been doing React for a while, uh, you probably recognize this problem. You have two components that can function independently on their own, but all of a sudden you need to synchronize them. They need to share some piece of state. And the way we do that is by moving state up into the parent component. So maybe this component over here could keep track of the interval and the time, and it could just pass something down into each of the components saying, hey, change your background color now. So that's, that's one way we could uh, share state between these two components is to lift it up into the parent. But I wanna avoid that in this video because that kind of gets tricky with intervals, right? So imagine one of these components starts the interval and then another one stops it and then another one starts it again. It's kind of hard to keep track of all that up here. And then also too, this component right here is really nice. It's, it's all self-contained. It has the background colors, it has a change function and it has the interval all right inside the component. All the logic for this component lives in this component, which is what should happen. And so if we start moving the interval up into the parent component, we kind of separate the logic out of this component. This is no longer a background color changing component. It's more like a half background color changing component that needs an interval supplied to it from a parent. You can see this just kind of gets confusing and hard to keep track of. So we're gonna make a really, really simple change to fix this. And that is, we are gonna change this call to use interval to use a different hook. And we are gonna use the use synchronized interval hook. And this is a hook that comes from the interval hooks package. And it does exactly what it sounds like. We can start off one of our color changers. And then at any point, kick this one off. And you can see that regardless of when we started them, both of these colors are now changing at the exact same time. And so that's what the use synchronized interval hook does. 
it makes sure that regardless of when your intervals were started, their functions are going to fire at the exact same time. Let's talk about how you synchronized interval works, because that was really, really easy. The first thing to know about you synchronized interval is it stores all of its state outside of the React tree. And every interval is going to get its own bucket. So right here, we have a bucket for our 1500 millisecond interval. And that bucket is going to have a few properties inside of it. So the first property is going to be a list of functions. And these are going to be all the functions that we want to happen at the 1500 second interval. And the next property is going to be the actual interval itself. And every bucket is going to have one interval. And that interval is going to run at the bucket speed. So in this case, this interval runs at 1500 milliseconds. And that interval has one job. And it is going to loop through all of our functions and run each one. And so this is how we guarantee that all the functions happen at the same time. There's one interval that's coordinating when it runs them. And so if we had three background color changing components rendered at the same time, we would have a list with three functions and our set interval would just loop through each function and execute it. And so that's how our bucket coordinates running all the functions at the same time. Now, if we have uh, intervals that happen at different frequencies, we would create brand new buckets for them. So let's say there was an interval that should happen every uh, five seconds. We would create a new 500 millisecond interval and store its functions along with its own interval. And so that's it. That is how we can synchronize our intervals. So that was a pretty simple video, but the reason I wanted to make this one was twofold. First is I wanted to show that you know, oftentimes in React, when we want to share state, we just want to move it up the tree. Uh, but sometimes there's there's other approaches, such as, you know, using a library that lets you move state outside of the tree. And so that's what you synchronized interval is. The other reason is synchronized intervals can play an important role in many different React hooks. Uh, one of them is a clock. And I want to make a clock in another video. So I figured I'd use this video to explain what a synchronized interval is, how to think about it, and how it works. So thanks for watching.